All right, you're into the belly burn challenge, and today what I wanna do is help you to stay motivated to shred fat and weight and be consistently motivated from start to end. We both know that we often jump into things and we're super excited, but kind of like two weeks in, three weeks in, we start losing motivation, whether it be we get super busy or whether it be we just you know don't wanna focus on our diets anymore, or maybe we just lose sight of our goals. Either way, we could get unmotivated. And so today I wanna keep you motivated and tell you exactly how you're gonna be able to do that. So number one, the hardest part is pre-tracking your food. Now for me, I always pre-track my food while I'm resting in my massage chair. So I have a designated time, that's 7 p.m., where I, I block out everything, okay? I block out all social media, even my kids, they're sitting over there doing their thing. I'm on my phone, my MyFitnessPal, and I'm setting up my meals for the day for the next day. Now, you might not eat exactly what you put down there, but don't worry about that because at least you got 90% of what you plan to eat prepped in your phone, which means that it's prepped in your brain and you have a way higher chance of getting it done. So set times throughout the day where you can plan your food and make it a non-negotiable. Another way to stay super motivated is to make sure that you're getting the tasks done of the day. Most coaches are gonna provide you with the basics of water, steps, supplements if you're taking them, workouts, some coaches do, fasting schedule, other coaches might give you an extra task of the day, like doing a 50 yard sprint. My recommendation to you is that once you build a habit of doing these tasks, that you're just gonna not wanna not do them because you're gonna feel motivated to keep the streak alive. So my recommendation to you is just to give in. It may be something that's completely out of your comfort zone, but in past challenges, I've had people do stuff that was completely out of their comfort zones and they now love doing those things on a weekly basis. So for instance, a task of the day might be doing a 24-hour fast. And one of our clients, Samantha Powderhorn, she did a 24-hour fast every Friday for a full year. It's something that she's grown to love. And I don't know if you've ever seen Samantha Powderhorn's results, but look back at when she started and look back to where she is right now, and she has not hit a plateau yet. And the reason why is because she continues to take on new challenges, but she also stays consistent with them. Another way to stay motivated is to get connected. Now, group chats, depending on who's in them, they could get crazy, right? Some people are posting different things in there and you're like, oh, this is not relevant to what I wanna do. I don't have enough time in the day to go through all these and get caught up with all the different chats. Your coach will put you in a chat that is probably suitable to your personality. So hopefully that happens for you. But if it doesn't, my recommendation is to Take the minute that it takes, so maybe after you plan your food, sit there, go back to the beginning of when the chat started, and just get involved. Because a conversation is only good if you're actually engaging with it, right? Like if you're at a party and you're there because it's your spouse's like work thing and you don't know anybody and you're just kind of in the corner and you're just like, you know, tapping your toes until it's time to go. That's boring. Like that's, even if you only do an hour there, that's an hour that you absolutely didn't want to do. Now imagine if you stayed there for three hours, but you started opening up and you started having conversations with people and you started getting involved with different conversations, you start to find out that, man, we have so much in common, or man, we have the same goal, or you guys can be accountability buddies. So my recommendation for you to get motivated and stay motivated is to start connecting with the people, get out of your comfort zone, and just get engaged. Two more. So this one is have a checklist. Me personally, I have a checklist for almost everything. I mean, Fit Club is built around process docs that everybody has a checklist. Now when it comes to your nutrition, I would suggest that you have a checklist that you print off and you have it somewhere that you go to every single day. For me, my checklist sits on my work table. And every day I check that and, and I go through the check marks. I do as many as I can before my day gets chaotic, but at least I know where I left off and I know what I still need to get done. When it comes to the belly burn challenge, if there's things like, did you track your food? Did you get your steps? Did you take your supplements? How many hours of sleep did you get? How many hours of fasting did you do? How many workouts did you do? Have that created as a checklist. This way you can go in there and you fill in the blanks. And again, it's all about consistency. Consistency requires no motivation. It just requires you to take action. And once you do a thing over and over and over again, 
it less becomes of a drag and it more becomes a habit. And once you build up good habits, it's hard to break those good habits. It might take some time and yeah, they can be broken, but you're, if you did 21 days straight of having this checklist, there's a good chance that you're gonna do another 21 days. So my recommendation to you is have a checklist and fill it out every single day. And last but not least, to stay motivated is that you have to trust the process. Because if you are doing every single thing right, you're hitting your steps, you're drinking your water, you're taking your supplements, you're making your workouts, you're doing your task of the day, you're doing your extra abs, whatever it might be, I guarantee you doing the right things is going to get you the right results. So you gotta trust the process. Don't freak out when you've been on a diet for five days and you haven't seen that you lost five or 20 pounds or whatever your goal is. Give it time. If you're doing the right thing and you do it long enough, guess what? you're gonna get that result.